I may or may not bring a bunch of money from my other island. This is what's important to me right now is like analyzing the eyebrow color. This is editing Taya, and I realized I didn't do my intro, so hello everybody, and welcome back to my channel. My name is Taya, and this is Papagayu, my jungle core island. Now we can resume as usual. Testing, 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 test, test, test. Hello every- <laughs> Oh dear, so, so sorry about that. The volume was a little loud there. Starting today, I'll be doing an island-wide broadcast full of island updates going on and such. I'll go over some things that are very important to island life, so lend me your island ears for a short time. Interesting. It's only fitting that we kick off this daily ritual with a doozy of an island announcement. The Papagayu Airport is now open for business. Today is day two on the island. The airport is open, so we're gonna get a lot of stuff done. I'm really, really excited for today. So let's get started. First off, we have a little house, a little shack, and that's, that's really cute. We got a bottle right here just staring me in the face, and we got some mail. Oh, I ordered quite a lot of things, and we got something from mom. My springy ride-on, my expensive impulse purchase. We got some stuff. Do I have enough pocket space to hold all of these things? No. Let's just put our turtle friend over here. Oh, so cute. You want to be in the water? I know you're not an ocean dweller normally, but there you go. There's some nice water for you. Ah, the days. I learned how to make a clothesline. Okay. What do we get? What did we get? We got a surfboard. We can definitely put that out somewhere. What was this from mom? Apples! Cute! We got bubblegum KK. Very cute. We got a wooden end table. I will take it. I like the wooden end table. It is a nice table. We got outdoor sandals, which I want to wear. Definitely. No socks. Even though the socks do match with my whole getup here. Cute. All right, well, let's check out the house. Let's see what we got going on in here. It's just so beautiful in here, but we are going to adjust this somewhat. Let's uh, pick up some of this stuff here. And I think I only placed this bucket inside so that I would get the Nook Miles points for placing stuff inside, so we'll do that. Oh yeah, well, let's clean up this guy too. All cleaned up. Okay, so we have stockpiled some Nook Miles points. So are you okay, software? Are you gonna survive? Are you okay? Okay, just checking. We're just gonna place this surfboard down here. If you didn't know, placing items outside, just whatever items you have, can help get your island rating up, like this odd collection. Oh, it's so aesthetic. Just placing out like literally whatever you have and whatever you craft will really help your island rating. So it's something that is good to do early on. Let's talk to our girl. Oh, hey Cheeky, what brings you here? I, I live here and I wanna talk to you. What's the latest? This island's got a ton of foods I've never heard of. I'm trying to come up with as many meals as I can. All right. All right, Sherry's cooking. Bam is on a bench. Yo, you been training, Kablang? No, I have been very lazy lately. I'm sorry, Bam. You can't beat a cold protein shake after a hard workout. I live for that first sip. I feel you, you know, that's pretty satisfying. I'm so excited to be on Papa Gayu today. All right, let's grab these guys because we are gonna donate them to Mr. Nook. He's gonna give us blathers his tent and then i can get a little bit of a delivery oh oh i agree that we need to build a shop i also agree if i can interject however when it comes to building supplies our customers homes should take priority i have every confidence that you'll find a way to handle this little puzzle well hello there taya are you happy with your home? Is it meeting your expectations? I bet you'll be a lot more comfortable now. 
Houses are so different from tents. My bill. Okay, perfect. I may or may not bring a bunch of money from my other island. Actually, this is a conundrum, Tom, because I don't know whether I want to search for my first Papagayu villagers before I put their plots up, or I want to just let them autofill like I did on Okanda. I think I'm leaning towards just letting them autofill because it was kind of fun to just, and I don't really like the base home, so getting people out is fine. Okay, there's so many things for me to do in here. I am just gonna plow through them. We're gonna get this shop set up. We're gonna start getting the materials together for that. Bam, we got the tent plot in our hands. I'm sorry, but you're never gonna have a world-class museum. You're only ever gonna have a tent. Deal with it. And I wanna see what you got for sale, boy. Ah, campfire cookware. Let's see what we can redeem for all of our beautiful nook miles that we have here. We have 8,430 nook miles that we can spend today. So I'm thinking that I want to get like a lot of this stuff. Wait. We're gonna get the pocket organization guide. I'll organize my pockets a little bit better. I'm gonna get the custom design pro editor. I love doing custom designs, especially early on because it's so much fun to like make up new things while you don't even have ables yet. It's That's the fun part. And let's get the tool ring. And now we'll need 3000 more miles to get the um, pretty good tools recipes. One thing at a time here. This is the first thing that I need to do. I need to change this. I actually looked at the eyebrow design that I had on Okanda and I noticed some things about it. The eyebrows are one square bigger on this side and we are gonna change the color. Yes, brows, we got them, let's do it. You know what? They look better. Let's get our delivery person on the way. On the way. Ow. Just to hit myself in the head. Well, I guess let's go open the gates for our dear friend who is going to be visiting. The crew may be flightless, but that doesn't mean you have to be. Okay. We're ready. We're ready for delivery time. Let's go. It's crazy. It's crazy how... Glenny was like the put together island and Okanda was the baby island and now it's like Papagayu is the baby island and Okanda is the mommy island now. Looks like Crisp Life Taya from Okanda's on the way. You're coming to the jungle. Why did you why did I wear a hat when I'm coming to the jungle? Hello, hi. This is what's important to me right now is like analyzing the eyebrow color. Okay, so it's a little bit more saturated. That's pretty much the only thing. This freaky, oh yeah, I wanna get a picture actually. I want to get a picture of both of us. I have no reactions. I have nothing that I can do. <laughs> oh my gosh. Get it together, Papa Gayu. <laughs> they're just, they're blinking too much. So many blinks. Okay, let's drop some stuff. Can do some decorating today. It's so exciting. I brought some bamboo shoots and some coconuts to plant. I also brought some clothing and then some, um, <laughs> some royal crowns so that we can uh, get some money. The most important thing, a ladder. All right, well, um, thank you for having me on your island. I, if you need anything else, feel free to give me a call. Bye. I'm rich. Okay, we got the ladder. We got a shovel. I also brought myself a little outfit. 
I don't know how this will look because I forgot that I had purple sandals on. Yes, oh my gosh. <laughs> look at me, now I feel a lot more tropical. All right, let's go. Oh, I should have brought myself a vaulting pole. I forgot, I completely forgot. The flower crown, that was important. All right, time to go for a swim. Oh my gosh, I'm so excited for this. Let us ascend the cliff. Oh yeah, it is messy up here. We gotta plan out where we would like Blathers' tent because I think I would like to have some amount of terraforming behind his tent. Probably to about, I don't know, here. It's so difficult. Maybe I can mark out some pathing here just with this. Maybe I'll just mark this out a little bit. I gotta make sure because I won't be able to move this afterwards. So I really have to make sure that it's in a spot that I don't mind. Is that seven spaces? Yeah, so that's the width of his tent. I think it's four tiles deep. So I think that that's good. It gives me plenty of space around it to do things. Okay, let's try to see. This is really hard to see because of this tree. I'm sacrificing one of these apples that my mom sent me. Bye tree. Let's see, let's see. I'm putting him way back here at the back of the island. Yes, it's perfect. And uh, yeah, for right now, he's gonna be completely stranded here at the back of the island, but um, that's kind of the way it is, man. So I am gonna gather some flowers over here because I wanna plant some flowers at the front. For Papagayu, it's gonna be a little bit more important for me to have like a variety of colors. On Okanda, I just, I have some orange, I have some black flowers, but it's not really like important for me to have like hybrids. I can't believe I didn't bring myself a freaking vaulting pole. Oh well, swimming is refreshing. It's a hot jungle day. I know Papagayu doesn't look like a jungle yet, but it has a jungle spirit. <laughs> it has a jungle inside. Under this layer of boring is a jungle waiting to happen. Something that I'm very excited to do, plant some bamboo and some palm trees, then we're gonna really start to feel it. Look at this. We're gonna really start to feel it now. Bam, let's do it. We want to just jungle it up over here. A few moments later. I just planted 20 trees on Papagayu. We have a lot of palm trees and we have a lot of bamboo trees, like literally everywhere now. I think we got some nook miles from that. Yes. So we put Blathers' tent down and then we also planted some trees. 29? Oh, I used one. I used one to make myself a shovel. Go to the house. To the house, to the house, to the house, 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 to the house, to the house, to the house, house, house. All right, I have all of the materials for Timmy now. So I'm going to get Nook's Cranny also. And I'm gonna try to place Nook's Cranny approximately where I would like to keep it, just for the sake of easiness. I'd like to donate. Oh, I don't have softwood? Ooh, I got some clothing and a paper tiger. So that was pretty nice. I got a paper tiger. Come with me, Softwood. Let's get this job done, right? You know, on Okanda, I made like a really small little entrance area as like a entrance 1.0. I want to do that today. I think that'd be really fun. Okay, I need to look at my map for Papagayu to see. Another nice thing about Happy Island Designer is that it will save in your browser automatically. It has an autosave feature, so when you go back to your browser again, it will just have it there, which is super convenient. So, in my original map for Papagayu, I had resident services to the right of the entrance, and then I had Nook's Cranny to the left, but we're gonna have to do a slight flip of those two things. But I would really like it to feel like the second that you get off of the airport, you see Nook's Cranny and you see all of the buildings, like all of the major buildings are gonna be right here. 
When I'm not able to start construction, it's a little bit difficult to plan out the spacing of everything. I want to have like a little river that comes through here. I could have like a diagonal bridge potentially that goes here that has, then we can have nooks right over here. Okay, I'm gonna have to clean up this mess. Just a sec, I got flowers in my pockets galore. Let's just plant some flowers over here to get them out of the pockets. We can clean up a little bit. Yeah, let's just spam flowers all over this place here. Okay, you know what? We're just gonna put it here. I think this is just about where I want it anyways. And then I wanna have Abel's like <clears throat> slightly behind it. See, I wanna have like a spot. It does have like enough space for me to create like a little path that goes between I will probably end up moving that eventually, but one thing at a time. Time to sell some crowns, time to get some cash. Taya, we've got our work cut out for us if we're gonna op open shop by tomorrow, but I can't wait. I'm gonna sell you some things. Ooh, <laughs> I'm rich. Okay, let's do this. Yeah, okay, we finished paying off the home loan. All right, we already have enough Nook Miles points to get um, the better tools, I think. I did find a suitable spot for Blathers. Um, he's kind of at the back of the island by himself across a river and up an incline, but he's fine. Hi everyone, so I decided to do a little mini speed build in the middle of this let's play. When I was recording it, I didn't think it would be a speed build, and so you will see me talking to myself in the corner there, but it was a little bit long, so I decided, you know what, we're gonna speed this up. It's just my little entrance 1.0, like I was saying. I really like doing this at the beginning because, of course, New Horizons is very, like, design-focused, and that's the fun part for me especially, and so getting a little bit of, like, creative energy out in the early game is always super fun for me. I think the priority on this particular little mini entrance is just to have fun with it and to know that it's not permanent. Like this is not the entrance that is going to stay on my island forever, not even close, but it's just something, I mean, to get to that three stars, you do have to have a lot of items down. And so just creating a little space that's just a filler for now that I can easily take down later really works for me. It kind of helps me to get my mind thinking about what's this new island gonna look like what are the kind of items that i want to use what are the colors that we're going to use here so it's super fun so i'm using a lot of the mush items because that's items that i brought from okanda that i wasn't necessarily going to be using on okanda and then i ended up using a lot of the festival stuff and i didn't originally intend for it to be so orange but it just kind of came out that way and i feel like orange is a very jungly color anyways so it, it i think it worked out and i've got these two huge mush parasols i think i do end up leaving them like that but we're just putting down items and seeing how it goes so this is my little <laughs> my little starter entrance and i would love to i think what i'm going to do off camera is i create some little silly custom designs to create a little bit of a path going to nook's cranny but I think it'll work. It will work for this first edition of Papagayu. I still have a couple more items in my pockets. So I think what I'm gonna do is just place down items randomly everywhere. And uh, that will kind of give us the three stars, I think faster, which is the main goal. I brought a lot of this stuff over from Okanda because it's stuff that I will not use on Okanda because it's not very Canada core, but it fits in perfectly here. That's for sure. Actually, I did use some of this red festival stuff, which is why I had it at all. All right, we've got a, a smattering of items all over this first little area, and it will get us closer to that three stars. Once we get Isabel onto the island, we can start hustling to get those three stars, and it's gonna be great. 
Thank you so much everybody for watching today. That is gonna do it. We got Blathers' tent up and ready at the back of the island and we did some little mini designing in the front. We got the shop set up, we got a big delivery, we got our house upgraded. It's been a very busy day. So I will see you all in the next one. Bye everybody.